Hello sweet friends, welcome to this autumn vlog of fall florals, crafts, recipes, front porch decor, and more. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm like not that thrilled with the moms that this is all that's here. And I just don't know. I feel like overall they just don't look that good. So I don't know. I might just wait for now. Maybe check a different Home Depot or check Lowe's. Okay, you guys, Trader Joe's is where it's at if you can't find certain fall flowers or colors at your local box stores. Even plant nurseries are another option, but I was really excited with what Trader Joe's had. And now we can get started decorating the front door, front porch for fall. And leave it all behind. It's gonna be okay, no matter come what may, I'm gonna set things straight. Tomorrow, I let my worries fade, let them sweep away, there'll be another day. I will leave a link for the lantern that I'm using down below. It's actually solar powered and I really liked the large size of it and just the way that the candle lights up and glows at night. So far so good. It is really fairly heavy and stable so that's another plus being outside. I also got some of these beautiful artificial flowers from Joann Fabrics and they were 50% off. I thought they're so pretty and I think I'm going to actually use them outdoors because it's one less thing to actually water and take care of, and it just kind of adds to and complements the rest of our fall decor and fall colors out here. Well, and let me know what kind of flowers, like do you guys decorate outside of your home or like on your maybe back patio area or front door? Do you do anything for fall? I'd love to know if you guys use flowers. Do you use mums or do you use a different type of flower for fall? I know the mums are so kind of traditional, but then again, there are a lot of gorgeous like other oranges and purple flowers that I saw at Home Depot that could be really beautiful as well. So these pumpkins I got for around $7 in Walmart. Um, this was another $7 one. I feel like the texture on the other one makes it look maybe a little more realistic, but I don't know. I was kind of thinking I'd go for maybe just mix them up a little bit so they're not all exactly the same. This is not lit up yet because it hasn't had enough time to charge and it does recommend this being in the daylight so we'll see if it actually gets enough light to fully charge over here. I'm hoping it will because it is really bright out there but it's technically not going to get much direct sun. The moms are from Trader Joe's Blooms and they were like around four dollars for a little pot with no blooms. I wasn't even sure. I think they mostly had like burgundy and white moms so I was really excited to find the yellow, the purple, and the orange. I just feel like it's really lovely and beautiful for some fall colors, fall florals. I love just the colorful fall decor. Burgundy probably would have gone because of those other flowers. And it's kind of working though with a mix, I think. Let me know what you guys think, but I feel like the mix of artificial flowers with real ones is still actually kind of working out pretty well, so. So I got this wreath at a tag sale for $5 over the summer. And I'm honestly just feeling like the thing that's wrong is this bow. So why don't we try removing it and then see how the wreath looks. Okay, voila! We're just gonna fluff this up and then I think I'm going to try this out on the front porch, out on the front door, and we'll see how it looks. I think I just need to bend some of the little reeds and um, these little florals, like bend them in a little bit to cover where that piece of burlap was, and then we'll see how it looks. So now I was thinking that we can make a little bit of lunch together and I have a sweet potato soup recipe and we'll go ahead and make like a nice hearty fall harvest 
soup or stew, something really warm, delicious, and creamy. So this recipe does happen to be dairy-free and vegan. I put about a tablespoon of olive oil in my large pot and chopped up one large onion and then added in some garlic and ginger, about a teaspoon of each minced. I like to get these, the frozen ones, um, in like Trader Joe's or Target. We're gonna go ahead and saute that onion, garlic, and ginger until it's softened, and then add in a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, along with two large carrots that are already chopped up, and your sweet potatoes. So you want approximately five cups or so of chopped sweet potato. You can use frozen sweet potato or chop up a fresh one or you can even swap it out for some butternut squash i did about half and half because i did already have some butternut squash fresh from last year but it's been in the freezer for a while so i wanted to use that up and then we're going to go ahead and add in two cups of vegetable broth one and a half cups of soy milk. You can actually probably use whatever milk or other plant-based milk works for you. And then go ahead and just cook everything until the vegetables are soft and tender. I added in one tablespoon of peanut butter and then blended the whole thing with an immersion blender. And this came out so yummy, delicious, creamy. It's just a really nice, kind of a hearty, creamy soup. And I did do soy milk instead of coconut milk which I think I prefer because um, I don't know if I would like the coconut with it, but the soy milk, I really don't really detect soy milk, um, but you could go for coconut milk. You could probably use almond milk too if you wanted to, since the recipe actually originally called for almond butter. And I think it was called for like a quarter cup. So I just did one tablespoon of creamy peanut butter and yeah, it has a, a good flavor and you wouldn't initially taste it and think soy milk or peanut butter or ginger. Like it's just a nice creamy light flavored soup. So let's go ahead and do a fun DIY. So this is one you could definitely use for any time of year. I'm doing a little bit more of a fall inspired piece here with sunflowers. So I actually got these silicone molds on Amazon and I think you could probably use these to make any type of like handmade soap or even like chocolate or something. You can use these molds for a lot of different things. If you're going to use them for something like today I am going to be putting some caulking in here. You can use the white one from Dollar Tree or if you want to get one that dries clear which is the one I'm using. I picked it up in Walmart. I'll see if I can put a link for it down below. It worked so well in here. You just basically spread some of the, the caulking silicone and it will dry in this mold and when it's completely dry you can easily pop it right out and then just take some scissors to trim and neaten up the edge and then go ahead and paint this so any type of like acrylic paint is going to work well on here decorate them paint them um i layered some different like yellows gold brown orange and greens and just decorated these sunflowers and kind of layered some colors in there with the yellow gold and orange to just kind of get the sunflower petals looking the way i wanted them to and then you can go ahead and apply some glue and adhere these right onto a glass vase and this will make a beautiful flower vase or candle holder. I think these jars are going to be perfect to put some LED candles in here. I don't know how well it would work. You could probably put a real candle in as well. I haven't tested it to see, you know, if like the heat would do anything to the glue. I'm not sure. If you decide to try that, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how it worked out for you. But my recommendation is kind of always to really just use the battery operated candles and you know it's just less risk all around and plus they can be on a timer so it can just go on every day at the same time for you thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this fall decorate with me fall craft with me and also our yummy fall sweet potato soup recipe i am wishing you a beautiful day wherever you are, whatever you are doing today. Much love to you and I will see you soon in a new video. Bye!